we're going to place a, a swivel lock about in this area and we're going to make a tunnel about in this area. So I need to have a skin incision that will allow me exposure of both, uh, so approximately from the GERD tubercle to a little bit more cranial <coughs> than the fabella right there. So I'm going to do a second incision in the fascia. So I'm going to make uh, an incision right over the groove of the digital extensor until I can see the extensor. I will show you this in a second. So once we open the extensor groove and we, sh we know for sure where the digital extensor is, right there, we can palpate immediately, caudal to the groove, uh, to give you some orientation. Uh, when I'm palpating here with the forceps is the fabella. I'm putting some tension on the bone. So I want to go immediately distal to that in this tissue. So I want to be just distal to the fabella and I want to incise it until I see with the mosquito the back of the condyle. So for me the ideal corner is right here. So one option is to pre-drill with uh, a pin, a KY. But I think I can uh, just go ahead with this drill bit. As you can see I'm directing the tunnel a little bit more, a little bit proximal and cranial. So we're going to tap uh, the hole with a 3.5 swivel lock uh, tap. This is important because it will facilitate inserting the swivel lock. Uh. So now we're ready for uh, drilling the tibial tunnel. We're going to use uh, a femoral aiming device and we're going to insert uh, the aiming device into the suture hole of the plate as you can see right there. And then we're going to keep some pressure against the plate uh, and we're going to find uh, again uh, the Gurdy sister position right here and I generally like to actually have uh, an assistant inserting the KY for me because I want to be sure that I'm holding the position well. I also would suggest uh, to not tighten down too much of the guide uh, because I want to be sure that the aiming device doesn't bend. We're ready now to drill with a cannulated drill bit so at this point, uh, I like to leave the drill bit in uh, and to remove the K wire and then to insert uh, the nitinol needle. And I'm pushing the nitinol needle at the same time uh, I'm removing the drill bit. So the next step, again, we have uh, here the nitinol needle in place. I'm passing the fiber tape uh, into the suture hole. I'm, I'm grabbing the um, fiber tape with the mosquito and I'm pulling the fiber tape uh, all the way through. At this point uh, I take the two ends and I pass them uh, into the loop uh, of the nitinol needle and then I'm ready to pull the fiber tape through. So we're ready now to place uh, the swivel lock. In this case uh, we're going to place a 3.5. It's very important to um, to retract the soft tissue because what can happen is that as you are screwing, inserting the swivel lock, uh, you, can, um, you can move uh, or you can have some tissue going in uh, at the level of the interface between uh, swivel lock uh, and suture and bone uh, and uh, this can decrease the pull-out strength uh, of the anchor. So you can use uh, this loop uh, to make your life a little bit easier to pass it through the eyelid. So now we're ready for the insertion. We're going to use the mallet uh, to initially insert it. And I'm checking the alignment of the tibial tuberosity. I want to be sure that it's in the neutral position or uh, be sure that I can maybe apply a few degrees of internal rotation. Okay, as you can see, we, are just, um, we just embedded the laser line, so I'm happy where we are. And then uh, we're ready to remove it. Regarding closure, I would go ahead and close uh, the fascia here and I would generally try to imbricate uh, the fascia right here to this edge and then progress it uh, to the closure on this side. 
So we have completed our uh, internal brace, tipular internal brace. And as you can see, we have the suture in place. I want you to notice that the bone tunnel is in a good position, is immediately uh, cranial to the most cranial screw. It's about two millimeters from the osteotomy. Also, I want to show you that because the tunnel is immediately below the suture hole, it's important when you're drilling to not advance the drill against the plate uh, because you can partially damage the edges of the suture hole, which may predispose uh, to uh, fiber tape failure. The closure is done uh, as a standard uh, closure following an extra capsular with uh, a lateral imbrication here. And the closure here is done uh, by bringing the fascia on top of the plate uh, and closing the fascia on the cranial aspect uh, of where we removed it from.